Hello and welcome to Slide Creations YouTube channel. Today in this tutorial, we'll see how to create this wonderful timeline animation. We'll give you effect something like this. So here we have used wonderful light effect as well as the text is well placed here. So without wasting further time, let's get started. In order to start, the first process what I'll be doing is to create the road. In order to create the road, take this rectangle which is available in ready-made shapes. Then I'll go to shape outline, no outline. I'll give this road a moderate black color. Then along with this road, I need a center line as well so that I can get by connecting these two corners or two points I can say then the width I will keep somewhere around four points the color I want is white then I will place this line exactly at the middle in order to align them, I will select both these shapes, a rectangle and a straight line. I will go to Arrange, Align, Align Center, Arrange, Align, Align Middle. Fine. Then again, I will select this straight line and I will change the pattern of that straight line to dotted pattern. So this will give us more realistic look of a road. Now once that is done, I will select both of them, I will go to arrange and I will click group. So now they are grouped, once they are grouped, I will go to shape format, in shape format, I will go to 3D rotation, under presets, I will go and select perceptive relaxed. Well. Now I can sense a 3D look for this road. If I want to adjust it further, I can just give this Y rotation. So now it looks perfect. I will extend the road from both the ends. And this additional road, if I don't want, then I can also remove it. Just press Ctrl X and then Ctrl V and hence I will paste it as a picture. Once I will paste it as a picture, now this is simply a picture which I can use according to my convenience. Fine, so now we have a 3D nice looking road. The next thing what we have to do is to create a street lamp. For that I will choose rectangle shape. I will draw this rectangle. Well, in combination of this rectangle, I need an arc. That arc is also available under ready made shapes. So, I will go and select this block arc. That block arc, I will hold shift and I will draw. Now, width we have to decide as per the width of this rectangle. So, I will place it here initially. And then I will adjust the width. If I want this arc to be a little bit smaller in size, that also can be done. But make sure the width of the arc must be matching with the rectangle what you have taken. I will select both the rectangles, I will remove their outlines. I will place this arc exactly on the rectangle, I will remove outline, then I will select both these shapes, I will go to merge shapes and I will press union. So this looks like a single homogeneous shape. Click on shape format, under shape format I will go to 3D format. I'll try to give some suitable bevel for it. So let me give 
a circular bevel under circular bevel also let me take the higher size so let me give 60 so this looks more perfect then and I'll choose dark grey color in order to get the look ideal look of the street lamp I can reduce the height of it if you want you can use a little bit darker color as well now this will be the body of that lamp additional to this we need the focus as well as the base of that straight lamp so for that I'll go to shapes I'll use this trapezoid I'll draw it here by holding shift button I'll reduce its height now this trapezoid also should have some 3d shape but before that I'll remove its outline I'll fill it with the same color then I'll go to shape format and in 3d format I'll give it again a circular bubble fine now we need a focus on this lamp the same shape can be actually used but in order to make the difference we are going to use a slightly different bevel in this case so I'll go to top bevel and you can choose anything ideal so I can use this relax inset yes so this looks good so this is one street lamp I'll select all the components of that street lamp and I'll group them together so I'll go to arrange group and group them together if you are, I'll select this street lamp I'll press ctrl D I'll place the second one somewhere here again ctrl D again ctrl D so now you can see automatically they are placed well in horizontal manner in order to give it more realistic effect we need to provide a light focus so for that again I'll go to this shapes under shapes I'll choose this trapezoid I'll use this trapezoid as a focus something like this I'll zoom it in so that you can see it then I'll adjust the shape of this focus so this is the focus which I am trying to draw here now the edges of this focus should be pretty similar or the angle should be pretty similar to what we have here in the top focus or focus of the lamp so accordingly size we can increase or decrease I want to want it to appear on the back side in order to overcome that difficulty I'll select the straight lamp I'll go to arrange for a while I'll ungroup all the elements then I'll select only this one and I'll bring it forward well so now this is the lamp but this focus should not be in this color so I'll select it initially I'll remove its outline I'll go to gradient fill now I should give it some realistic color first stop is at 100% position second I will place somewhere around 50% at 100% position so let me start with this 100% position one so I'll choose it a very light yellow color then around 50% I'll increase it by some extent and then I'll be using much darker color so this looks like a focus now again in order to give it more realistic view I'll go to insert insert shapes 
I'll choose this oval tool. I'll draw that oval. Something like this. I'll go to outline, remove outline. And this oval also I want it to appear in the same color what we have used here for gradient so I'll go to field I'll use here solid field this time and this I want it to be very light colored now it is very interesting to know that this focus uh, when it comes down to the road it will be creating some border kind of a thing so I will give it a very light outline so let me choose a dark yellow color outline to it but that also I can make it more realistic by giving it bigger dashes so this is the focus what I am going to observe now this is one set let me add a text here which we are going to use to represent the progress along the timeline so I will mention here demo text fine so here I can mention the description. Now let's see if I'll animate this, how exactly I'm going to animate. Before that, for now, I'll remove all these street lamps so that I can copy only the animated one at one go. So initially I want this road to appear. So for that, I'll select the road, I'll go to animation. So the animation of the road, so I'll select this wipe animation, but the direction I don't want this at this direction, so I'll choose from left. It will start on click, so in the beginning of this slide, once you'll click, the road will appear. I want it to appear in a little bit smooth manner, so I, I'll go to timing of the animation, and from timing of the animation, I'll select medium so road will be appearing little bit slower fine next thing what i want to do is to animate this street lamp so i'll select all the components of this street lamp here i want it to appear so then i want this to appear so i'll select this i'll go to animation in animation again I'll choose wipe but now the direction has to be from top to bottom this also this I want to appear with previous animation so after lamp appears this focus will also appear and the speed I'll be keeping medium so that will get more effect of this once that focus is done I'll be going for this text animation for text I'm using I'll be using a very simple animation effect I'll go to ready-made animations again then under ready-made animations I'll be giving it floating animation okay so this alone if i'll try to preview right from picture one let me see how it looks yeah so once you'll click this thing will happen now let me select this And let me press Ctrl D. So we'll get one more set of this. I'll place it here. One more time I'll press Ctrl D. And one more time I'll press Ctrl D. So I got four animated lamps here. Similarly, I'll press here. I'll press Ctrl D. So animated text. I'll just alter it a bit text to then again I'll select this control D I'll place it as 
3. Then again, I'll press title 4. Fine. Now, in order to maintain the proper order or rhythm of animation, I'll go here. The first picture is nothing but road. Then we have trapezoid, which is base of the lamp. Then we have free form, which is the arc and pipe. Then again, we have a trapezoid, which will form the focus. And finally, we have this light focus. So these four will form the lamp. So you can understand after this trapezoid, then free form trapezoid and group. This is also forming a lamp. So after this group, we have after this light focus, we have title one and your text goes here. That is obviously the description. Same way, I'll be selecting this title two. I'll press it here after group 43. I will similarly select this your text goes here and I will press it here. So two posts we have animated. Similarly let me select title 3 to press it here after group 49. Then I will select your text goes here and below title 3 I will press it. Well, now we have a properly animated timeline so let me go back to slideshow and check how it exactly looks like so on first click the road is appearing second clip I have this lamp appearing third clip the second timeline fourth click third line and fourth click I'll be having to get this point. I hope this tutorial will definitely help you to wow your audience when you'll be representing timeline in your presentation. To learn more 3D infographics of PowerPoint, please keep on following us on this YouTube channel Slide Creations. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Also mention in comments your remarks about these videos. I'll see you soon in next tutorial. Thank you so much. Happy presenting.